and we have arrived finally we gotta go find baggage claim get ourselves situated find our transportation and then we can be on our way to the hotel and then eventually do some exploring so we are finally here it's actually baggage reclaim because when you're in European countries they call it baggage reclaim we call it baggage claim but really the reclaim is more accurate it just always cracks me up whenever I see it on the side it's baggage claim I don't care what the Europeans say <laughs> I say I make the rules you around potato, here potato, potato, potato. <laughs> what do you think Bro, I'm listening to Tyler, the creator, right now. I, I wasn't listening to a word either of you were saying. I'm in my own world. And there you have it. So my dad's giving me the camera, which is a terrible idea, because that means that I'm going to monologue at you. So what's up, guys? We just... Uh, got off our flight. We're finally in Oslo. I'm so excited to not be on an airplane anymore. Um, we had... Beautiful coming in. It was beautiful coming in. We flew, may I? We flew over the Baltic Sea. It was gorgeous. The sun was sparkling on it. And then when we finally got to land, you see all these tiny little islands. And then the mainland is so lush and green and hilly. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah, it's beautiful. wild. We were flying over Germany. It was all like yellow farm plots, it looked like. Then we got yeah. here, and I'm like, wow, it's wow. so green. Yeah, and there's exactly. terrain, yeah. which, I mean, a lot of places have terrain. But you have to understand, so I go to school in Indianapolis now. Um, I go to Butler University, and in Indianapolis, we have corn, soybeans, and flat. And flat. <laughs> flat ground. <laughs> um, I think our highest hill... Uh, it's like 618 feet in elevation. Don't quote me on that. Wow. So it's basically an ant colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's an <laughs> ant hill. That's the highest hill in, uh, in Indianapolis. So seeing like terrain, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. I didn't know this still existed. Because <laughs> I've gotten so used to living in the flatlands. But that's part of why I'm super excited to be here. Unfortunately, I realized on the plane I forgot my climbing shoes, which we're gonna I'm gonna be doing a lot of climbing. So that's kinda unfortunate. But we're gonna go out find a climbing shop. I'm gonna get myself some shoes and some chalk. I need to get myself a watch because I forgot my watch too. I'm out of practice. I haven't like been out of the country in oh god, like a year and a half, almost two years. It's crazy. Oh, that's the spider at the Guggenheim. In, uh, can, you can you tell he's mom. back because he's talking over my yeah. monologue. Very disrespectful. I can't believe this. Um, but I, I don't even remember what I was saying. Gosh darn. Oh well, we're about to head to baggage claim. So we're gonna pick up our bags and I'll pick Mold you guys back up <laughs> in the car probably. Or maybe at the hotel or maybe even before that because he might decide to film. Where'd he go? Where is, there he is. He is too dark, I couldn't see him. He blended in. <laughs> <laughs> One more. So, I think scooters are like mad popular in this airport. Cause I've seen like a security dude scoot by on a little push scooter. There was a pilot riding a push scooter earlier and then some other dude came by on a scooter.
All right, as you can tell, we've made it to Norway already. We've checked into our hotel. And now we're gonna go and explore the town. We're gonna explore Oslo. So we're starting with a little 20 minute walk. Probably gonna be a little bit longer than that because we're kind of dilly dally. But uh, we gonna take a little walk to the waterfront and go explore the waterfront. Then we're gonna go to the palace and go down the shopping street. And I'm gonna get myself a watch. Yeah. That's the Ruder, which is like their subway system. Yeah. They have great public transport. That tower is part of the subway system? Well, it says the Ruder that you see there, R U T E R. Yeah. And they have a great uh, subway system here. Uh, It's very warm here. I expected the temperatures to be sort of like in the 60s or something, but it's very, very warm. This is about what I expected. Very warm and humid. It's not humid. It's humid. I can feel it. It's like it's like walking through butter. It's humid, but it's not humid. We were just in DC, bro. It's humid, but it's not humid. Those are two contradicting terms, but okay. It's not not humid. But compared to where we just were, it's not humid. It's not well, not humid. Yeah. yeah. Not remote. Uh, I, I get what you're saying. Not dry, we we not both saying the way. same thing. Oh, look at the boat. And the lady hanging off the building there. Yeah. The tower. The bus. And we're going to walk down the street and see what we see. Yeah. Pretty architecture. I like this building. There's some kind of basket weaving going on there. Oh, this is pretty. Building steps and stuff. Oh, wow, look at the clock. Oh, here. Very cool. Hi people, where to? Where are we headed first? So we're gonna walk to the waterfront and see that first. There's parks, museums. There's a lot to, to do in this city. Lots to do. There's a lot of activity everywhere, people walking around. And then again today is Saturday, the weekend. So, and there's a lot of uh, tourists. It's a very touristic city. And it is summertime, vacation time for most Americans and Europeans as well. In Norway, summer's the busiest season because, you know, land the midnight sun and all. And it's cold here in the winter. Yeah. Of. We walk in, we walk in.
What's this building? Borson. Borson? Whatever that but there's is. There's all this stuff hanging off the building. It's like, there's another lady. Opera and Ballet House. I think. It's a big building. Yeah. Architecture, yeah. they're very big on architecture here. There's, uh, really there's a few competing styles next to each other. This way. This way and that way. Oh, you want to walk? I was thinking we could walk up that ramp and get the view. It's about, it's about to stop. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Nobody listens to me. Hey Anderson, can you lead us to where we're going? <laughs> Proceeds to completely ignore me. <laughs> That's not true. I didn't completely ignore you. Just your crossing device. Your mom like walks to her own drum beat. <laughs> You know, that's, that's, that's going to turn red in a second. The cars are going to go. We can't cross. <laughs> Proceeds to cross. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Is this supposed to rival the Opera House in Sydney? It, it sort of has the same sort of feel when you walk in along its grounds. It's got A sculpture in the water there. Yeah, that's it looks like boats. Looks like uh, boats, but made out of glass. Uh, did you guys see this? Yeah. Uh, 
150 meters to the north. Does not look like food. <laughs> I think they're having too much of a good time. <laughs> Very, very funny. Anyway, that's the Royal Palace, as Pam says. Yes, the Royal Palace. I don't know much about it. Royals used to live there. Okay, see? <laughs> she doesn't know much about it either. Usually she knows everything on the trips. M me and Emerson, Emerson and right, I... So this is the Royal Palace and it dates all the way back to like... Um, long time ago. I, I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck it was. I just wanted to grab the kidding? game. And <laughs> sound smart. I don't know yeah, when it dates Jeff back to... Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try. <laughs> nice try. Okay, we came, we saw, no, no, the, and now we must leave. No, we're bye bye, Palace. <laughs> That's why I asked you if you wanted to eat before we came here. You had your chance. Uh. I can't read. And here we are, the Royal Palace, as you can see. Na det e tut og mit og der ristikon for summer branch crop at store. Eldred trapene pus nit nat nit nur blit there. That's all I know. Sorry. Huh? Kinder Toten. Doesn't say that, but the words remind me of it. It's a Call of Duty Zombies map. For our younger viewers, you might know that. <laughs> she ever played COD? When it's dry. dry and hot, the risk of summer branch drop increases. That larger the trees suddenly drop branches on calm days because they are stressed. So the chance of falling branches injuring someone is small. We encourage all park guests to be careful. So that var for means be careful. That's what it means. Oh, he, t he tells us nothing about the royal palace. You know what's really cool too? The backside is in English. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, just publicly. I know. These are my dumb dumb parents. What's this thing? I'm just here for you. Yeah. I'm just here for you, yeah. man. I'm just here for you. 
That's why I'm here too. My knees are creaking. My back is hurting. But I'm here for you. My feet are aching. <laughs> <laughs> Can you scare her? Please do something crazy. I don't think he's allowed. Yell at her, scream at her. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> Harley's in New York, but don't make noise. Do we need to hit something? Yeah. Walking and walking and walking and. the palace uh, just a refreshing beer uh, had a burger wonderful burger lovely burger truffle it was burger. Uh, a truffle with burger bacon. with bacon on it and truffle man. Oh, fries so they good. serve their fries here with uh, mayonnaise really good. as truffle most of mayonnaise. Europe does really good. and we're sitting by a beautiful yeah. fountain it was really good food. I'm really tired though, because like, I'm realizing, so, we all didn't sleep very much the night before uh, last, I guess. Yeah, last night, and in DC right now, it's eight in the morning. So we've basically been awake all night, um, even though it's uh, two here, so we Yeah, we slept bearing very hours. Tired. Yeah, we slept bearing hours on the plane from one to two to about four. But, um, but we're all tired. I was falling asleep at the table. Oscar was just falling asleep at the table. But um, but this is just, it's lovely here. You have this beautiful fountain in this park. And it's um, its just lovely. And this restaurant is great. It's, it's lovely sitting outside. But I was telling the guys, I went to the ladies' room, and you have to go all the way to the up two flights. And it's inside. It's just gorgeous. I love how it's decorated. Beautiful light fixtures. And, some really interesting stuff. They've got old typewriters and bookshelves filled with books and stuff I love. So I was chandeliers. It was great. I love this place. You're in, you're in uh, Oslo. you got to go to Egon Restaurant here. E-G-O-N. Egon Restaurant. Go check it out. Lovely. Really great. Great food. Great atmosphere. Nice people. Don't miss it. So I'm going to close this vlog right here. It's going to end. You know why? Because I'm falling asleep. So uh, it's a good time to say goodbye and hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, tomorrow is another day, so much more to see. So thank you for watching. If you guys are still here, thank you so much. We really appreciate all the support if you're still watching. It's, it's really great to see you guys support us so much and to watch our channel grow. Um, and please, if, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out as a small channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.